So tonight, Sephora was having their little VIB Rouge party. Before that, I have only ever been to one before, like on my own. I've only been VIB Rouge long enough to have been to another one, but I've been to like a couple of their smaller little parties beforehand, and they're always lots of fun. There's always like food and like little beverages and stuff, and like, oh, I gotta show you the water bottle. Canada, heart, VIB Rouge, bam. So cute, like, so cute, and I love it. And um, they're always lots of fun, and at my local Sephora, I don't know, like, I feel like I know all the girls that work there because I'm in there often enough and they recognize me at this point because like, I don't know, <laughs> I'm loud and I'm in a big pink wheelchair, like I'm kind of hard to miss and it's not a it's not a very big Sephora store and the mall that it's in is not very big around here so it's like, I always feel very at home when I'm there so I always look forward to these parties and the crazy thing about tonight is that usually the Sephora events, it's like, you go in and it's fine and you hang out but this one was like so busy, the line wrapped all the way around the, like mall basically and they were like you had to wait in that line until people left the store because they were like that they were risking me over capacity it was nuts 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 but um I did get in eventually and I bought a whole bunch of like skincare stuff and then I, there's also the little free packet they gave me so I'm going to go through all of that with you now at the moment there's nothing in the makeup world, like, at Sephora that excites me. I'm really into trying, like, drugstore things at the moment because I feel like drugstore takes maybe a little bit more risks. But at Sephora, like, everything is just kind of, like, I've seen it before. I've tried it before. It's nice, but I don't need it because I have things like it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, nothing, nothing excites me. There's a couple little pieces from Sephora that I still want and I will pro probably continue to want for a while without actually buying. But, um... Yeah, so this is a lot of, like, skincare stuff because I've been having, like, I don't think the camera will, will be picking it up, but, like, this cheek in particular has been reacting to something lately, and it's, like, always really hot to touch, and it's very red, and, like, my foundation, my best friend here, my Maybelline Better Skin, uh, it really, like, it's fine on my whole face, and then on this cheek, it gets, like, really, like, balled up, and the skin gets all gross and peely, and it's... Like, and the skin, even when I have no makeup on it, is really unhappy. So I'm trying trying to fix that here. So first, this is the little, like, free goodie bag that they give you. Aww. This is what it looks like. It's, like, dripping gold. It's like, this is a very, very thin bag. Holy moly. So, yeah. Sephora's had, like, nicer little free bags before. So that one's, that one's cute, but it's not... Nothing to call home about. Now we'll go through the little goodie bag. So this is the, oh look, it's red and it's got these like little scales all over it. So everything in here was just like a gift, like they just give it to you. It's awesome. So we're going to go through these. These Sephora bags in the past, um, they're always great obviously because it's free stuff and it's little samples of things. So it's fantastic, but uh, sometimes I don't use all the stuff or I don't really want all the stuff. And uh, one of the girls in the store told me this is the best one and I'm going to love it. So I'm excited. So the first thing that I see, ooh, the first thing that I see when I reach in here is a little mini of Benefit's Gimme Brow. Ooh. One of the times I had my makeup done at Sephora, I think it was the time actually that I have like a video on my channel, they used the Gimme Brow on me and I loved it. Now the hard thing is, is that now I'm like, I have black hair and I'm doing my brows so much darker. I feel like in older videos when I did my brows lighter, they looked... I don't know, I don't like how they look on camera when I fill them in less heavily. They look kind of like washed out almost. So now I do my brows really heavily. So I feel like I'm not actually going to be able to use this because it is dark brown. But I will give this to one of my sisters. Yeah, this is medium deep. So I'll give it to one of my sisters because it'll be too brownie for me. But that is already, already I'm impressed. What the is in here? Fresh cream S. Sien, and Sien, I think it's supposed to be ancient in French. Ultimate Nourishing Honey Mask. <gasps> honey Mask. I am excited. Clarins. Uh, super Restorative Total Eye Concentrate. Ooh, a Clarins eye thing. That's fancy. I ne never go anywhere near Clarins because it's so expensive. That's fancy. I hope I don't fall in love with it and have to buy the big one. What else? Fresh creme essium. Essium. I am not Canadian, I swear to God. I can't speak French at all. Soft cream. Ultimate ageless complexion treatment. Oh, is it just like... Yeah, so it's just like 
like a whipped moisturizer. That's so nice. There's so many fresh things in this and fresh is such an expensive brand. I'm excited. I'll never get over how big this mask is though. Like, look, that is a good sized sample. And I'm usually really very, very sparing with masks anyway. I put them on very, very thinly, so. BB, Bumble and Bumble. Blow dry, serum and cream to repair hair with every blow dry. I don't blow dry my hair, so I probably won't be using this. I just can't, like it would take me hours, so I don't even bother. This is my hair when it li literally air dried. That's why my bangs look so gross, because they, they air dried. Uh, so I will probably give this to my sister that blow dries her hair all the time. But uh, this is, again, this is another good size sample. Dang, Sephora. And the last thing in here is a uh, mini of the Kat Von D studded Kiss lipstick in Lolita, which is very exciting because I don't have Lolita. I bought the liquid lipstick of Lolita, but I feel like I got that weird batch and it was very, very brown and I hated it. But I gave it to my sister and she loved it, so. Lumos. Oh yeah! Just we excite. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put all these little samples back in the bag and then we're gonna go into the stuff that I actually bought. Okay, so one thing that I was going to buy and I didn't actually end up buying, it's funny because, okay, so Tati, who is one of the, like, big makeup gurus on YouTube, I watch all of her videos because I really like her. We have a very similar style. We're, we're both kind of more chill. Like, so many other YouTubers are so full of energy and so, like, bubbly, and I just can't do that. And Tati, even though I feel like she could do that, she's very, she's just very chill, and I really like that. But... Uh, the thing about Tati is I often feel like I really di disagree with her. Like, every time she likes a product, I usually hate it. And then every time I like a product, she usually hates it. Case in point here, the uh, Maybelline Better Skin Foundation and the concealer, she hates these. Like, does not like them. Actually, I don't know about the concealer. I take that back. But she hates the foundation, like, hates it. And it's, like, all I wear anymore. And I actually have got a lot of people to try this foundation, and they love it too. So, yeah. But anyway, in one of Tati's videos, she recommended a mask by Peter Thomas Roth. And it's like an oxygenating mask to make your skin look less dull. And they don't sell that at Sephora. And even if they did, it would be a kajillion dollars because it's Peter Thomas Roth. But um, Sephora Collection makes their own version of it. And I was going to buy it, actually. That was like one of the three things that I was like, I want to get this today. But uh, the more I thought about it, like with my skin kind of acting up at the moment and being... And it's really like flaky and stuff, especially over here, like I said... I feel like going in with something that sounds that intensive might be a bad idea. So I, I bought more like calming stuff and moisturizing stuff for my face than that. So the first thing I, I got is um, I got two of the Sephora sheet masks, which are like my addiction. I wish they weren't eight bucks. I wish they were like two dollars. <laughs> I could buy a few of them at once. But so this is the moisturizing and soothing one. This is the Lotus mask. And then this is the anti fatigue and energizing one, the pomegranate mask. I think I'm going to do the lotus mask, like, right after I'm done shooting this video, actually. That's why I bought it, to do it today. So, these are always good. Uh, they have a bunch of these different masks, and they all do different things, so I definitely recommend checking them out if you've never used them before. Of course, take that with a grain of salt if you have really sensitive skin or whatever. Look at the ingredients, be smart. But I love those masks, and I've gotten a bunch of people addicted to them because I just love them. This is one of the other things that I went there with the intention of buying, and it is the Dior Ma Maximizer Lash Plumping Serum. So, I've been feeling lately, maybe it's because I wear falsies like all the time. Ever since I got that multi-pack of the Ardell Natural Wispies, I wear them all the time because they're so pretty and they're so much fun to wear. But I feel like I've maybe been wrecking my lashes a little bit, like they feel I don't know, like, they feel shorter, and they feel like they're droopier, and they just, they don't feel as nice anymore. So what this is supposed to do is, while it can also act as a primer, like, under your mascara, it's supposed to, like, en enhance your lashes and be good for them, be conditioning, it's supposed to help them grow a little bit better and help them hold a curl, so it's supposed to be really, really good. I watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos first, I did my, my research, but the problem with the YouTube videos I found is that a lot of other people were using this mascara with the intention of like using it as a primer, whereas I'm using it more for its serum benefits. So, with that being said, I plan on, after I'm done this video today, like taking a picture really close up of how my eyelashes look naturally, and then I'll be using it morning and night, because you can use it overnight every day for like the next six weeks, and I'll take a picture every week of my naked eyelashes just to see kind of how it progresses at all, and then I'll make a big video so that you know that this is worth it, because there are a lot of like lash enhancing serums out there, but they have a tendency to be 70, 80 bucks plus. And this, while it was expensive, it was $36 Canadian. 
um, if it helps my lashes at all, if it helps to make them feel better, because I almost feel like, if, I know this sounds silly, but I always feel like my eyelashes hurt sometimes, and at that, but that's not cool. So if this helps them at all, then I think it's it's worth it. Definitely worth it over the much pricier ones. So I'm looking forward to trying this. And the last two things, see I told you there wasn't a lot, even though I've gabbed for so long. I decided to try out uh, First Aid Beauty. I'd never ever have bought anything from this brand before because I'm just very... I don't know, I'm very, like, sparing with skincare. I use what I know and I use what works. But lately, as you can tell, as you can tell, stuff's been going wrong on my face, so it's time to branch out a little bit. So this is the mask that I bought instead of that Sephora Collection oxygenating mask. And this is their Ultra Repair Instant Oatmeal Mask. It says, nourish and rejuvenate, safe for sensitive skin. And that's what saved me, like, instantly. I was like, nourish and rejuvenate. And in case my skin is now sensitive all of a sudden, like, sign me up. This is what I need. So basically what you do with this mask is it says apply a generous layer over cleansed face, wait 10 minutes and rinse off. Use two to three times per week for dry or distressed skin. Well, my skin is currently dry and distressed. So I hope that this helps. If it does help, like I will probably fall in love with it and then it will be in my November favorites video. And if I don't fall in love with it, it won't be in the video. So that's how you will know. And then Last but not least, I've heard a lot of people talk about the First Aid Beauty lip therapy before, and so I've always been kind of interested to try it, and um, I often find that as my allergies were like really bad, they're kind of getting better lately, but when they were really bad, because then you sleep with your mouth open, right? And so I'd wake up and my lips would be like so dry, so dry, and I already have dry lips. So I'm hoping that by using this like every night and like in the morning, I can maybe repair my lips because I have had dry, cracked, gross, peely lips my whole life and I just, I want it to stop. So hopefully by using a nice, nice lip balm, I can kind of save myself. I'll let you know if it actually helps though because, I don't know, I've used other things and like it's alright. I really like my Nivea HydraCare but I feel like it doesn't last on my lips long enough to save them all night. So I'm hoping that this will be like long-term moisturizing. And that is everything that I got at the Sephora VIB Rouge little party tonight. I think that they're doing their VIB sale next week. I could be wrong, but just like if you're, there's been a couple of things that you wanted from Sephora, keep a lookout online or in store if you want to do it that way. I feel like their VIB sale will be coming up soon in case you're like not VIB Rouge, you're like one of the, the the lower tiers, which is fine. It just means you're probably more financially responsible than I am. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.